So this is a Grixis build I'm working on. It's nowhere near budget. It you know the deck's gonna come out to be about two hundred and eighty two dollars and ninety one cents. That's including the sideboard. Uh, but I'm gonna get right into it. The superstar of the deck is Harold of Kozilek. Uh, he's only fifty three cents on CCG and converted mana cost of three. One colorless, one blue, and one red. You definitely want to run a four of this in your deck because it makes all your colorless spells cost one less to cast and almost 80% of your deck is colorless spells. We have a few creatures coming in in the two drop slot. We have three mist intruders, 14 cents on TCG. You want to run three of these and the reason you want to run three of these is because you definitely want to have this as your turn to drop. If not this then you're going to want to have the tide drifter which is not that expensive either at 23 cents from TCG. Both their converter mana costs are one colorless and one blue. You want to run three of the Mist Intruder and three of the Tide Drifter. You're also going to be running three of the Vile Aggregate. Sorry if I'm butchering the names, um, but it's only 23 cents on TCG and a converter mana cost of three two colorless and one red. Um, its power is depending on how many colorless creatures you have on the field and since most of your deck is colorless it's, it's gonna be pretty 9, powerful. 000. Now we have Ulamog's Nullifier, one of the most broken creatures in my opinion in this deck. It converted mana cost of four, two colorless, one blue, one black, and it's only 26 cents. And if you have two Herald of Kozilax out, it's only going to cost one blue and one black. And the ability this creature has is flash, flying, and when it enters the battlefield, you may put two cards from their exile into their graveyard and counter target spell. It's pretty much a counter for two as long as you're using your Mist Intruder to ingest their deck. With that being said, you also want to run two Sire of Stagnation. It's about six dollars and three cents on TCG with a converted mana cost of six, four colorless, one blue, and one black. Again, if you have Harold the Kozlak, it will cost a lot less. Sire of Stagnation's ability is whenever a land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, that player exiles the top two cards of his or her library and you draw two cards. Perfect for card advantage, perfect for getting things into exile, so you can do other fun stuff with their exile. Not only will you be ingesting their deck, you also want to play this other creature. You're going to want to run two Oblivion Sowers. They're about 542, has a converted amount of cost of six. And when you cast Oblivion Sower, exile the top four cards of your opponent's library, and you may play all land cards onto the battlefield under your control. This will help you ramp up into the next spell which is going to be Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. You're going to want to run two of these and they're about eighteen ninety-five. He has a converted amount of cost of 10 but again if you have the Herald of Kozilek it's going to cost cheaper and if you just played your Oblivion slower and you were able to munch on some of their lands you're already ramping up. That brings our total creature package to 23 creatures. Yes, this deck is creature heavy, but with the abilities most of the creatures have, it is well worth it. We'll be running 12 non-creature spells, and to start it off, we're going to start with Brutal Expulsion. You're going to want to run a full playset of this. They're about 226, uh, with a converted mana cost of 4. 2 colorless, 1 blue, 1 red. And again, if you have Kozilek, it's a card. It's a card. It's a card. And what Brutal Expulsion does, it's an instant, and you can choose one or both. Return target spell or creature to its owner's hand. Again, it's a counter, or you can time walk them by sending their biggest creature back to their hand. Or you can have it deal two damage to target creature or planeswalker, and if that creature dies, and it's supposed to go to the graveyard, it gets exiled instead, which is just perfect to get rid of those den protectors. Obviously we want to run three dig through times. I'm not really going to get into dig like that. We all know what dig does. You dig for your answer and you play it. 
We're going to use be running just two, just two negates. They're 12 cents each. Convert mana cost of two. Obviously, instant counter target non creature spell. Not bad. Play it. Bringing us in at the end here, uh, we're going to run three processor assault. They're 22 cents. Convert mana cost of two, one colorless and one red. It's sorcery speed, but. I personally think this is a little better than Rose, especially with all the exile that's going on of your opponent's deck. You know, as an additional cost, like the card reads, as an additional cost to cast Processor Assault, put a card an opponent owns from exile into their graveyard, and it deals 5 damage to target creature. Unlike Roast, they only deals 5 damage to target creature without flying. This can actually hit flying creatures. Now let's talk about our mana base. Um, we're going to be running 25 lands. There's going to be 3 Polluted Deltas, 2 Bloodstained Mire, 2 Sunken Hollow, 2 Smoldering Marsh, 2 Shrine of the Forsaken Gods, and then we're just going to round it up with the rest of our basic lands and have 7 islands, 3 swamps, and 4 mountains. And this should bring us to a nice 60. I personally think, you know, you can customize the sideboard however you feel is fit. So I want to, you know, create this deck tech, uh, like a Grixis utility build, a Grixis toolbox kind of build. Um, I'm new to Magic. I started playing when Favor Forge came out, so still trying to get all the mechanics under my belt, but I think I got a pretty good understanding of them. You know, if there is anything that I say that's wrong, feel free to correct me. Just, you know, write in the comments. Thanks.